the structure. What forces determine the shape of our natural world? This will be a journey amidst nature's diversity to discover a small vocabulary of forms that reveal the secret behind the shape of things. Está bien que ames a los clientes de Bancomer. Bien. Está bien que les quieras regalar. Nature is a kaleidoscope of shapes. Some are made by animals like insects. Some are the growth forms of plants. And some, the patterns of crystals. The same basic shapes appear again and again. Is it coincidence? Or is it because each of these shapes works in some unique way? Do things that resemble each other really have in common? And how do they get their shapes? This will be a journey of discovery through familiar natural surroundings, beneath the surface of things, and into the way different forms are made. It isn't always obvious, but there may be a pattern in the way a river bends, and in the way trees are spaced in a forest and in the way lilies grow in a pond. Whatever the process may be that leads to form, one thing seems clear. Natural things produce many variations on a few basic themes, for nature is a maker of shapes. At the submicroscopic level, there is an underlying order in the chemistry of the formation of these crystals. They have a rigid substructure determined by the way their atoms and molecules fit together. Just as the shapes of these crystals echo their internal structure, the shape of any natural thing depends on its composition and the forces acting upon it. The forms described by geometry and mathematics are not just abstract ideas. The sphere, the polygon, the spiral, the helix, the meander, and the branch are familiar throughout nature. Shapes like these are the signposts of order amid nature's abundant variety. Even within a drop of water, there is a teeming diversity of life. Microscopic living things inhabit a world as rich and varied as our own. These are spherical colonies of individual algae called volvox. The sphere is a common shape for very small organisms that live in water. Seen with a standard microscope, the skeleton of this marine creature is barely discernible. But magnifying it thousands of times shows that it's not only a sphere, but that it's a complex structure made of many parts This dome is only one of the hundreds of individual lenses in the eye of a horsefly. These tiny hemispheres have grown together in a pattern of repeating units covering nearly all of the fly's head. This remarkable compound eye lets the insect see in many directions at once. Polygons, including triangles and hexagons, are the basic structural unit in the skeleton of this tiny marine organism. These shapes are formed by intersecting struts of glass-like silica. 
On a far larger scale, but extraordinarily similar in structure, the skeleton of this glass sponge is several inches long. This spiral shell is only a tiny fraction of an inch across. The shells of many mollusks throughout the world have a similar shape. They build their protective armor with near mathematical precision, creating the ever-expanding curve of the spiral. Some spirals make many turns, and some, like this Argonaut egg case, make only one. The tendril of this vine grows in the form of a helix. It developed these coils so that it could contract like a spring as a way of getting closer to a support structure. And the movement of these vines around a pole also creates a helix. The meander is a regular repeating curve that rivers form as they flow across the landscape. And in a shape similar to flowing water, a snake too moves in meanders across the ground. When a cabbage is sliced in half, the form that's revealed looks like a tree. This is only one example of the patterns made by branching systems. The feeding tentacles of a feather duster worm make a radiating pattern on the face of a coral reef. The eight tentacles of the octopus also make a radiating pattern. Living things do not necessarily keep the same shape. They often change as they grow. These salamander eggs are spherical at first. But when cells grow and specialize as different parts of the body develop, the shape of the embryo starts to change. The form it now begins to assume is a shape suited to its environment. It's molded by millions of years of evolutionary trial and error. The same is true of plants. Their designs have evolved as workable solutions to the problems of gathering light and air and drawing water and nutrients from the ground. There is often a relationship between natural forms their functions, and the materials they are made of. Environmental factors like gravity, light, and the weather can play a part in the development of natural shapes. A change of season has a noticeable effect. Birds move south, plants become dormant, and as it gets cold, the water in the pond and in the air undergoes a change of state and with it, a change of shape and structure. Water vapor changes to frost on these seed pods. 